All right, we're in Kathmandu, trying to get to Electric Pagoda Restaurant. Uh, negotiated 200 down to 60. Let's see if we can actually find it. As you can see, it pretty much looks like tourist places all over the world. It's full of the things that they believe tourists are here for. Restaurants and shops and all that kind of stuff. Mush. 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 Yes. This guy's like 60. It's awesome. So. And they have a lot of environmental things. Translated environmental means expensive. Got this canopy thing that won't actually lower despite efforts to do so. Look at all the signs and stuff in this street. It's like Chinatown in the movies, except that there's no Chinese people here, or very few, or they're in hiding. Yes, possibly. But, like all the tourist places, ooh, they got big columns. Look at that big column. Um, but like all the tourist places, uh, you are not really supposed to walk anywhere because walking doesn't pay the bills. So. More tourists and fine arts places that aren't fine or possibly art. And not a lady boy to be found in this country. I'm not sure what the hell they do with them. Probably be a big surprise for somebody. Yes, yes. Sometimes groups of tourists and uh, people just stop and gather in crowds in the middle of the street. I have no clue why they do this thing, but they do. And they just have miles and miles of shit for sale. I mean, yeah, some of it's probably good stuff, but other things like, would anybody ever buy this? Really? Money exchangers and backpacks, and this guy's having a corner trying to pedal my fat ass. And... But I've seen them, I've seen these guys take like three or four adults and stuff, so I don't feel bad. Maybe I should. But yeah, I don't. Because I'm Logan. Ah, darn. Ah, oh, crap, I got put in the blog. You also need a photo of yourself for the visa, but of course you should always carry a bunch of photos of yourself. And I'm talking the visa size ones, not the full pictures. When they ask for your uh, photo, they don't want you to pull an 8x10 glossy autograph and hand it to them with a smile. That's not what they're looking for. I found that out the hard way. So. Hippies, got some hippies. Hippie chicks, hippie guys. Oh, coming to Nepal. Except that these are a bit more rugged than some of the hippies. These guys actually like to do like nature treks and horrible, horrible things like that. That's the hot bread sandwich shop and police. Haven't been to hot bread, but read about it on the internet. Wiki Travel, that's a key place. Always go there for your research. Yeah, it's hot bread. Potholes. It's what we call flavor in, in the road. The car park is full. <laughs> Hold on. They got pubs and stuff here, but um, yeah, their alcohol is outrageously expensive. Baffling. I can understand in Cambodia when people want to be on a permanent drug. It's cheap there. But here you're paying a lot to get drunk. 
Not as much as Great Britain, obviously, but nothing is. More hippies. More rickshaws in case this guy drops dead. Uh, and they're even trying to get me into their rickshaw, even though I'm already obviously, clearly, in another rickshaw. This is the mentality. It's basically begging. You know, but with a ride somewhere. But you get a ride in a literal and a figurative sense at the same time, so it's not good. Anyway, tonight we're heading to a place called Electric Pagoda, which has got this guy flummoxed. And he's getting ready to rear end people by going backward. <laughs> Electric Pagoda? All right. Yeah?